All right, hello, hello. This is Max and welcome back to our Let's Play series of Yakuza. Um, and I think we're going to try the mission 2.0 and see if what we got on uh, suffice. Um, hopefully we get uh, enough drugs and stuff actually to get the, the fight going. So I hope you like it. If you do so you know what to do, just let me know in the comments below what you want to see. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And uh, yeah, support us in all what we're doing here. And uh, hopefully we get enough. to start pretty strong in this one. I'm starting probably with uh, different characters. And we're gonna go from there. And I hope actually we get the leveling, otherwise we will need to start leveling up more. Um, so, here we go. There's nothing else to say. Just cheers and enjoy. Last time we went in with level 39. Can't remember, it was, yeah, it was 39. And we get our ass kicked, so. Currently we are 54, and the bosses are 50, but they behave like uh, 60 or 70, so we're gonna figure out if, if we got what it takes. Um, still, I'm, I'm thinking we are on the level fight but we're gonna try it and see what happens yeah I remember that I argued that in this should I open it got it in this room they should have gone and recover should I open it sweet we should have access to recover here and restart the fight from here. So apparently in terms of money, we can restart, I don't know, two, three times the fight. But I don't think we're going to have enough drugs to survive three fights. So here we go. Hey, who are you fellas? Oh, uh, just on our way to the dragon chamber. <laughs> what a name, huh? Yeah, it's just up those stairs. But, uh, did the acting captain ask for you? Uh, you mean Arakawa-san? Yeah, he totally did. If he'd called for you, he would have sent someone for you. Seems you're lacking an escort, buddy. Don't know what to tell you. He said something about how busy everyone is today, so we should just go right in. <laughs> no way. We can't just let people make that kind of so claim and two or three by. fights. Give me the name one of the on top of the other. Could go in. Big ones. I want to know their family too. Sure. Um, what was it again? You're shady as hell, Scruffy. Yeah, this one is the How first about one. your name? What's that, huh? Ain't what I asked. What's your damn name? Look, Mikado. dude, why not make up a name? Sure. At least it's a cool ass name. <laughs> Yeah, I get that a lot. <laughs> so, we good? It also happens to be the name of the fucker the captain shot in Kamurocho. Oh, shit. And for once, we got the numbers advantage here. Wanna take him out? Hell yeah. Rolling time. You wanna fight? All right. This should be fun. All right, here we go. So... I'm gonna try to get rid of them 
fast enough. But still, I don't know if we're hitting hard or not. Um, which is part of the problem. You can try one orbital and then recover. Uh, yeah. Yeah, let's do this. Oh, it worked. So now we have another try. And here come the bosses. Give me your hand. These are two level 50 boss bosses. One of them multiply himself into four there. other bosses. Do it. So we're gonna fight Let's six major bosses at 50 level. It's gonna be interesting. <laughs> Plus, they have status, they have a lot of stuff actually that we don't like. Yeah, that's the one. Intruders! Sound the alarm! Isn't that the lie? All right, everything we got. I don't know, man. Doesn't seem like you're gonna need the help to me. Oh, you got me there. Sitting around in this place has been killing me with boredom. I don't know about you guys, but I could use a little excitement. Let's get them, Kasuga. If they wise up and call for help, we're screwed. Uh, <laughs> you think we'd do that? Not a chance in hell. Never met a problem the two of us couldn't handle by ourselves. Music to my ears. I'll take it. Something about that kind of confidence I've always respected. If I had to guess, you two were officers. Hmm. Not too far off the mark. Good eye on that. Something feels kind of off about them. Yeah, in the last fight, we could actually get 50% on the first guy and nothing on the last one. About time so let's see if we can that beat that. Heads. Yo, I got a question for the guy rocking the eye patch. Do you now? I've heard stories about a guy from the Tojo clan they call the Mad Dog of Shimano. <laughs> and. That wouldn't happen to be you, or would it? Well, who's keeping track? And again, anymore? the problem is that they hit twice. All I'm saying is, if that's at 300, 400. So if why the hell are you guarding the If they have the option, you're dead. HQ. <laughs> so you want to keep asking questions? I don't think questions. we have plenty of stuff to revive well, ourselves. Good luck beating the answers out of us. <laughs> Talking kind of big there, aren't you, Majima? Hope you haven't gotten rusty after all that sitting around. Get out of here with that! How dare you ruin my big setup with that shit! Don't you worry, fellas. I've been itching for a fight for a long damn time! Oh. Let's okay. go! It's Goro Majima's comeback tour! Soul of nothing. Here we go. Watch out with the statuses. Um, let's see if we can do something. And the first thing I want to do is probably hitting with the orbital on the next one. You haven't even touched him. Let's get nutty. I got this. You can win. 
nothing. Absolutely nothing. Duplication. All right. So we might need to bring it on. You're important now. back. So on the next one, we have an opportunity to trigger again the. Orbital. I haven't used those actually. I'm gonna take a look with those. Let's get nutty. Yeah, and the other guy has has not even entered yet. Fifty percent, and now we got the other guy. So now it's all these two guys actually hitting us from everywhere, absolutely everywhere. The eye patch guys are pain. Hey, this shit can go side. And now I'm gonna start trying to recover. Try this. Yep, nothing. Yeah, you start seeing actually that um, they're gonna hit us hard. So I might need to start spending. You first. And then it's all about defending. So trying to get as much um, HP up so we can take actually the next hit 
So now, I'll let him do you, and we're gonna get hit actually by like hell. One, oh, two. The problem if both actually go to the same guy, we're screwed. Now we need to take care of ourselves because that's gonna hit us really hard. And now we're back again to recover mode. And we can recover only one. And that's the problem. The other one is gonna hit us um, if they pick up that guy. Um, who do you save? And if I do this, oh, it's probably us. We need to save ourselves. Oh God! Really? You see, it's almost impossible. Right, what, what are You're these things? Voice. Boost all allies attack the skill in our okay. Check this out. Let's give him hell. Is that what we need to do at the beginning? Because I, I don't see any any particular option. Absolutely any any way that we can pull this off. I'll show you a fight. You're in it now. Use this. Appreciate it. Now the next one. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, it's impossible. We need a new way. Damn it. And three million for recovery? Come on. I'll get back up as many times as it takes. We start over again. Oh, no way. <laughs> this ought to be good. Well. Ah. Are you done with all the fun games this. yet? <gasps> I'm over here. Who wants to go? You're in it now. Let's 
fine. Hey, this shit can go well. Nice 
should help.
wants me. Let's go. You want to go? This should help. Thank you. Let's go. Let's go. I'm ready to kick some ass. Feeling better. I think we have a chance. If not now. Yes! Yes! Fucking yes! Sweet! Moving up in the world. Yes! Fucking hell. <laughs> oh, that's good! You guys are making this even more fun than I remember. <sighs> yeah, totally. We're all having the time of our lives. These guys are freaking monsters. You're not so weak yourselves. Perfect. Now we can stop holding back. Wait, you two were holding back what? that whole time? <sighs> guys, don't let them get to you. That just means we're gonna have to step it up. That's enough. Would you all mind putting this fight on hold until tomorrow? Please, Ichi. <sighs> hey, isn't that him? Yeah, it's Arakawa. <gasps> Boss. Ichi, allow me to present the sixth chairman of the Tojo clan, Daigo Dojima. Wait a second. The sixth chairman's here? Sixth chairman. This man used to be one of mine. His name's Ichiban, Ichiban Kasuga, of the Arakawa family, loyal to the Tojo clan. I'm Daigo Dojima. I see you've met Goro Majima, and his sworn brother, Taiga Saijima. For real? You're telling me they're on our side? Oh, way to go, Sixth Chairman! Now how are we supposed to finish the fight? It was just getting good! Relax. I already said there'd be more fighting tomorrow, Majima-san. <laughs> if you were listening, you would have known that. What the hell, guys? What's up with you? We weren't planning on fighting. But we're not gonna let you hurt him this time, Arakawa. Don't worry. I... I don't plan on shooting him. That's pretty vague. Sorry, but you're gonna have to do better than that. Of course. Let me explain what I can. This way, everyone. Come with us. Looking forward to next time, Ichiban Kasuga. Uh, so what's next? Are we going to have an explanation now?
Sit down, Ichi. The rest of you are welcome to take a seat as well. Okay. I can do that. So, to start, Majima, Saejima, and the chairman have all been laying low. For a while, actually. It's been two years now since the Kamurocho 3K plan. Right now, the only people who know they're in this room are also in this room. The Kamurocho 3K plan was when the young master cracked down on crime, right? Yes. And you might already know this. It only succeeded because they had intel from a Tojo clan insider. <sighs> you might have heard rumors that the insider leaked the info to Masato after he was elected governor. That insider was myself. All right, but if the sixth chairman's not gonna speak up, I'm guessing there's more to this story? I got that right, sixth chairman? Ichibang, easy. It's fine, I'll explain. <sighs> Patriarch Arakawa didn't betray the Tojo clan. He leaked the Tojo clan's inside information with my complete approval. The hell? At my request, Arakawa-san played the part of a scheming two-faced traitor. And ultimately that led to him having to shoot you, unfortunately. I'm sure that hasn't been easy for either of you to come to terms with. But that can't be the whole story, right? It's too easy. You've told me this much. You might as well tell me everything. Please. <laughs> well, it's not like you've left me anywhere to run. You don't mind, do you, Arakawa-san? Sounds like he's gonna make this trip worth it, Ichiban. It all started when Masato became governor. Of course, he was Ryo Aoki by then. He started pushing the Arakawa family to leak inside info, which he'd paired with his 3K plan and used it to crush the Tojo clan. At first, I refused. Then he threatened to arrest me under anti-Yakuza laws as many times as it took for my family to collapse. He threatened his own father? He did. And as I was trying to think of a solution, Sawashiro came up with one. His idea was to strike a bargain, to give up the info as long as Masato agreed to extend us government protection. At the very least, that would keep him from grinding the family into dust. <laughs> Sometimes I think Sawashiro is softer on Masato than I am. I didn't agree with him at first, and besides, it wasn't my decision to make. I laid it all out to the sixth chairman, told him what Masato had asked of me, and how if I turned down the request, he'd probably just threaten another family. Eventually, someone would give in and betray the Tojo clan. I couldn't allow that to happen. I knew the chairman would think like Masato in a way I couldn't. Not only because they're closer to each other in age, but also because he's my son. You never truly know your children. You yearn to, but in the end, they're a different generation. <laughs> How'd the sixth chairman get so popular with old fools? <laughs> You're no spring chicken yourself, you know. If Arakawa-san hadn't gone along with the plan, he would have been arrested under some false pretense. The anti-Yakuza laws are so open-ended, the government's got a vice grip on us. We've come into an age where politicians and law enforcement can use these laws to bend the Yakuza to their will. Which means, the Yakuza way of life is dead as we know it. Soon enough, the only thing a Yakuza crest will symbolize is a government slave. The Tojo clan aren't anyone's slaves. Sounds dramatic. What else do you call those so completely under the control of others? We've already had a man of some importance imprisoned for his refusal to submit. He had a subordinate who fought back against police harassment and they found him liable as the man's superior. 
That was Masaru Watase, captain of the Omi Alliance, de facto leader of Japan's largest Yakuza organization. He gets out of prison tomorrow, and this headquarters will be his first stop. That's why we've gone into hiding. We know what tomorrow will bring. What? What's it gonna bring? You gonna try to do something to Watase? Don't tell me you're gonna... Attack him? No. What good would that do us? Yeah, true. But what is it then? We're going to dissolve Japan's two largest factions. The Omi Alliance and the Tojo Clan. Watase will make a public announcement of his plan to file the paperwork. Whoa! Dissolve the Omi and the Tojo? Just like that? Not just like that. Watase and I considered this carefully. Unless prison changed his mind. But there's no way all the current Yakuza would accept this! True. And how they react is anyone's guess. Tomorrow is going to be a day of reckoning for us all. That's why I need all the allies I can get. People I can trust completely. Ichiban, didn't Mitsu say the same thing to you? Ugh. Wow, we are nearly there, mates. <sighs> so that's how you managed to talk to Arakawa-san last night. Damn it, man. If you just had some patience, it would have gone way smoother. It's your fault for making me wait. You know how I am. And you freaking traded blows with Majima-san and Saijima-san? I just about shit my pants when I heard that. Any other crazy-ass things you did in there? Oh, shut up. I've got enough people nagging me about it. It's nobody else's business. <sighs> okay, whatever. The fact remains Captain Watase leaves prison today. He'll make a beeline to HQ. Arakawa-san and all those Tojo officers have been waiting a long time for this. All we have to do is follow the plan. Yeah, the plan. Well, if Arakawa-san thinks it's the right move... I'll go along with it. Aniki, you gotta realize, Arakawa-san risked his life for this opportunity. Right now, we need allies who are committed. Does that describe you, Aniki? <laughs> Again with this ally crap. I said I'm on board, and so are my friends from Ijin Show. What more do you want? Talk about committed. That's my pals to a T. We finish what we start. That's a little more epic than I remember it. But we're in if Ichiban is. Well, whenever you're ready, just take a taxi to HQ. I'll come out to get you so we can avoid the disaster that was last time. See you there. Hey. So, if it is true, we should treat tomorrow like it could be our last. Once you get to Omni HQ, there is no turning back. So, yeah. It's going to be a huge deal thing. And now we have those two thugs as spawn mates. Um, okay, we're back in Osaka. And then I question if we can do something. Um, without compromising the level that we are. So we might need actually to level ourselves up again in order to be sure that we're never going to have problems. Um, I'm still thinking we have to do it. Uh, let, let's re regain everything that we use. Arigatou 
that one over there. Let's go there as well. いらっしゃいませ。ありがとうございました。Yeah, really、the problem is that we have one medkit only, and in theory, we should have more. What's over there? We have done most of the things, the discoverable things. At least the visible ones in the streets. So. something. Yeah, we need to be aware with all the passages and also this, this kind of things. Stairs that... I already did this one. There is nothing... There was something here, but there is nothing more about... But there are some buildings that you can go to the fourth floor, so watch out with that. Uh, all right, we said that we're gonna go to the trucks, to the store, and pop up. And the only thing that they have is this thing over here. And we got everything else, which probably we're gonna need where we're going. <laughs> It's better to be over prepared rather than under prepared. So I think I did that one. It turns around. Yep, and goes into this golden kind of thingy. And then goes up out here again. Very intricate kind of streets. I went upstairs as well, there was nothing there. In here, I don't think I can go in up. Yeah, I can't. There, I did that as well. 
That's the building that you go up and take a look and it will happen. There is a gamey-ish kind of thingy. I did this parking lot as well. Just review under the cars and everything else. Um, that's the end of the road here. Uh, this goes down. I haven't checked this one out yet. To my knowledge, there might be some goodies. There you go. And they're not, they're not. Is this a. Blackjack. Hello, darling. Can we just play once? Low stakes, VIP stakes. Yeah, VIP. Oh. Uh, where do we buy ships? There you go. Buy ships. Um, a thousand. Let's play with a thousand. Take a seat. Cancel, confirm, pause, select action, select action, okay. Pocket table, what? It's not 21. It's Texas. Is this Texas? Sure. Move up. Race. Call it. One more spades, please. Thank you. Raise again. Flush. And we got it. Yeah, I don't want to play more. Too addictive. So can we sell them now? What? Can we exchange here? Interesting. So we got CDs, which are always good. Pawn shop. Perfume. Weapons that are crap. Yeah, I don't know. Can they be done the fortune? 
There you go. Thank you very much. Get out of here. And yeah, my friends, that's going to be the episode of today, actually. Uh, uh, that was a relief, actually, that we passed those two thugs. And we advanced the story, and now we are kind of one step closer to whatever is going on. Uh, most likely, I'm going to do another round of... Uh, or one or two rounds of Battle Arena. So we can get out to level 60-ish. And then we're going to retake the story and see what happens. So... I appreciate uh, your likings and subscribe to the channel and uh, put your comments below what you want to see. I'm currently just filling the blanks while Cyberpunk is it's coming into my hands and we're going to start playing actually. Um, I haven't decided if I'm going to stream tomorrow or I'm going to start playing as soon as I get the disc and then I'm going to start releasing videos after the embargo which is Australian time on the 10th, 11 a.m. for us. So I'm going to have the entire day to play. So I'm going to play at least eight hours in the first day and over the weekend as well. I'm going to play Corpo. I'm not going to rush the game. We're going to take our time. And um, Corpo, Techie, Hacker. And I'm not sure if I'm going to do melee or weapons, but uh, we'll see how we're going to play it. I'm planning to probably do all three life paths, but we're gonna start with Corpo as apparently everybody's gonna start with Nomad and the other the other thing. So Corpo might be a good uh, uh, way to start. Uh, we're not gonna rush the game. We're not gonna finish it up in ten hours and then move on. Uh, we're gonna explore a nice city and we're gonna explore actually what the game is gonna give us. So I'm expecting at least more than Valhalla. <laughs> which was, for me, around 60 hours, uh, full completion, 100%. Um, so I'm expecting on this one 60, 80, including all the side missions and everything. Because everybody was rushing the story and said that I can complete the story in 20 hours. I was just sure, but you're not experiencing the game because you need all, all the other things. So we're going to try to play it as the sign and start from there. So... That's it for me for now, and I'll see you in the next one. So, cheers for now. Bye-bye.